So my name is Eve Porcello. Um, I'm a software engineer and trainer at Moon Highway. Um, we do JavaScript and Node and React training for corporate clients and also online. So we do a lot of curriculum development and writing about all things JavaScript. So how'd you get into development? I got into development, I was working, uh, I was working for Microsoft doing specifications, so designing specs, project management, things like that. So I really had to work with a ton of developers trying to get them to do things. And then I wanted to learn how to do those things and get things done <laughs> faster and know what they're talking about more. So I just worked with HTML and CSS and JavaScript. And I was training throughout that time on usability and UX design and then moved into front end development training from there. Cool, and why React? React, um, so we worked with Yahoo for a while, um, doing all their onboarding training and stuff, and we worked with YUI over there, their um, UI library, and they were like, we're getting rid of YUI, it's gone, after we had put together all these training materials for it, and we're like, it's gone, why? And it was gone because of React, so React came in and we learned about that, and we were like, whoa, this is so much cooler, and so. So that was very recently. It was, yes. So, so were you working with Sam Mueller over there, or? Um, no, it, we were working with their kind of HR department with their, on their onboarding materials and stuff, and we put together their Node.js program there too. So we're like, what is this React that we're hearing about? And like, I guess it was 2013, so, or 2014. But yeah, so we've been working with React since then, and we just find things, more things to love about it every day, so. And you're writing a book. Tell me a little bit more about that. We're working on a book about React for O'Reilly, so we're, going to take people through the whole process of getting up to speed with the latest JavaScript, so starting with ES6 and functional programming, then we get into React from scratch. So if you've never worked with React, it'll be a good one-stop location for that. Um, but we'll take you through more advanced concepts too, things like how to incorporate Redux into your app and universal apps and the router and all those good things too. So not super basic, very in-depth about um, everything you need to know to build a really cool app. So we got introduced by another awesome female community member in the React community. Tell me a little bit more about what it's been like to be a part of the React community. Well, the I think with the React community, I teach uh, beginner courses to a lot of new students who are just getting introduced to React. So um, I've found that Working with the React community is um, something I hear from my students a lot is, you're kind of the first female instructor that we've ever had teaching us these topics. And that makes me happy for like one split second and then sad after that. I think having women's voices in this community is super important. Getting people involved in teaching, getting people involved in managing React projects is huge. So I am super passionate about making especially women excited about programming React and speaking and hearing their voices more. What exciting projects in the community have you noticed lately or been playing with? Let's see, I've been working with GraphQL a lot lately, so I think I was sort of a later adopter to GraphQL, and when I learned about it, I got so excited about the potential there, so it makes me want to rewrite all of our APIs in GraphQL. There's only so many hours in one day, so we'll see how that goes, but um, yeah, it's been super exciting to learn more about that. You basically want to GraphQL all the things. I want to GraphQL all the things, <laughs> totally. So yeah, I live up in Tahoe, so all of our APIs for training are all ski related, so uh -huh. some people are like enough is enough with skiing, but I disagree. But um, <laughs> we're gonna hopefully get that going with GraphQL and then also take all of our samples for training and put that into a graph um, also. So. Oh, it's very exciting. Yeah. Huh, have you, have you played around with Redux Observable? I haven't, no. Oh, you should. I will. Yeah, it's really good. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I do. Okay, Yeah. Awesome. I'm excited about that. Yeah, it, it's pretty exciting. I know Microsoft is working on some tools as well cool. to help with um, the editor so that you can 
I think it's like plugins for Atom maybe or something that you, or it's VS Code, sorry, of course it's VS Code. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, to plug in so that you can use Redux Observable really easily. Oh, awesome. That nice. should be interesting. Yeah, there's so much to explore and get yeah. excited about. Have you played around with Create React App? Yes, absolutely. So training, um, getting people interested in React is has sometimes been challenging because people are like, I don't want to set up Babel, I don't want to set up Webpack, all of that. So when Create React App came out, it was huge for me as a developer, but also for students. I've had just like, people get super excited about that and feel like this might be a library for me, this might be something I can work with. So it's really cool. That is so inspiring. Yeah, yeah, it's exciting because I think people get hung up on tooling and worried about how they're going to set everything up perfectly and having it work out the box. People are, people are stoked. <laughs> so, wow. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Where can we find you on the internet? Oh, uh, you can find me at Eve Porcello on Twitter. Um, you can find my classes on Linda LinkedIn Learning and look out for the book, um, Learning React, in May. Do you know what animal you're getting? Yes. It's like this it's like this boar situation. It's like a pig boar thing and then a little baby pig next to it. So I don't know why they picked that. You have no input, but they send you an email and it's like a big deal, the unveiling of the book cover. So it's fun. <laughs> hey there. Are you into reactive programming using JavaScript? Do you have to deal with asynchrony in your web app? And join this dot instructor Ben Lash to learn all of the ins and outs of RxJS in his hands-on workshop. Available online and in person, go to rxworkshop.com for more details and to book your spot today.